Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Hadley Ford from Ianthus Capital. How are you today, Hadley? I'm fine, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. And for all of our Investor Intel audience out there, Ianthus is a new listing on the CSE. And of course, Ianthus, can you give us a bit of an overview on what Ianthus Capital is, Hadley? Sure. Ianthus Capital solves a problem that exists in the U.S. cannabis market today. Entrepreneurs who are either starting up their business, building their business, who would like to buy out a partner, have no access to regular way institutional capital. The Citibanks and Bank of Americas of the world are on the sidelines. So Ianthus was created to provide capital for those uh, entrepreneurs. And of course, I was reviewing your background, and it's 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 substantial, Hadley. You uh, you were the co-founder for Procure Treatment Centers, and uh, you've literally done billions of dollars worth of deals or transactions, I should say, with Bank of America and Goldman Sachs. Can I ask you why someone with your background would get involved in medicinal marijuana sector? Absolutely. At the heart, I'm actually an entrepreneur. I like to provide great services for industries that uh, I think there's a need for it. And it was clear to me, I have uh, my brother and my sister are entrepreneurs within the cannabis space. They had an incredibly difficult time in procuring capital to start up and grow their businesses. My skill set over the years has been raising capital. I thought it was a perfect match to be able to provide capital for these entrepreneurs who've been given the opportunity to provide medicine for patients around the United States. Well, I'm going to put you a little bit on the spot here. I mean, I, I think you're still understating your, your substantial professional career. And, and you said something interesting to me when we first met about uh, that you're really focused on treating people with respect and dignity and ensuring that they receive excellent service and everything else will take care of itself. Now, from one entrepreneur to another, and for our uh, investment audience out there, they know that I invest in the jockey. Can you tell me why you've come up with this particular formula for doing business? Oh, absolutely. In every business I've ever done, there's only one long-term differentiating piece you have, uh, and that's your people. Um, you can have technology, you can have patents, you can have market share. None of that matters if you don't have the right people. So what we've endeavored to do is to build the right team here at Ianthus that can ensure all of our uh, uh, partners and customers are treated with respect and dignity with a complete emphasis on service and delighting them every day. And that's what I've done in every part of my career, whether it's been financial services, investing, or uh, at Procure curing patients with cancer. Well, I met several members of your team, and of course, I would encourage everybody to go to your website to see the, the, the bench strength that you have over at Ianthus because it is significant. And if I understand properly what you're doing, you're basically a merchant bank doing corporate consulting for the cannabis sector. So I want you to reposition this and, and explain to us and our investors again, not only why you're doing it, but what kind of niche you're going to be filling and how big this industry sector actually is. Oh, sure. Now, we, there is a $50 billion market that exists in the shadow right now that's turning into a regular way industry. That's about 10% penetrated at this point. So last year you had 5 or $6 billion of legal sales within the cannabis sector. There is no one providing what I would call classic merchant banking services where someone can provide capital along with advice and counsel to these entrepreneurs on how to grow and position their companies. And that's really the heart of what we do. We call it value-added capital. Not only do we just write a check, but we bring the decades of experience we have from an entrepreneurial perspective on how to build, grow, and position a company. Perfect answer, because I want to now get you to my next question. This is such a politically charged topic, and we have so many investors that you know may or may not have ever utilized uh, marijuana in their lives, and they're really trying to, to figure out whether or not they should get into the sector. Or, you know, can you talk to us about you know your group? They all have such excellent reputations, and they're and they're putting themselves out there. Can you tell us what your position is really on this sector? Well, our position is that. You know, the industry's changing. I think uh, the genie's out of the bottle, as people like to say. You've got uh, you know, more than half the states here in the United States have a cannabis program in place in some form or fashion, whether that's a full medical program or high CBD or recreational. And yet the federal government has really been on the sidelines. They've been tolerant, but they haven't taken leadership from a, uh, a regulatory perspective. And that's created this dysfunction where entrepreneurs have an ability to go take care of patients but they don't have access to the capital. Uh, and our model is very simple, is to provide that capital, provide that expertise, and ensure that the entrepreneur has the expertise and the capital to fulfill their, uh, their mission. 
Well, I couldn't agree with you more, uh, Hadley. We're, we're big believers in building trust with investors. And so on that note, what should shareholders or interested parties in becoming shareholders in Ianthus anticipate for your first two quarters as a public company? Well, I think you'll see a number of uh, very nice announcements in the states in which we're actually uh, uh, involved with projects right now. We have uh, dollars invested in Vermont, New Mexico, and Massachusetts. Uh, there's a number of upcoming announcements that we'll have in the Massachusetts market. Uh, there's actually uh, on the ballot in November a referendum in Massachusetts to allow for full adult use uh, of cannabis in the state. Uh, we think that it has a good chance of passing and that would be very beneficial to our portfolio and I think very beneficial to the uh, investors in our company. Well, Hadley, thank you so much for joining us today. My absolute pleasure, Tracy. I look forward to further discussions about Ianthus Capital Management.